this is my journey through tarot. Come on, let's go. So today a viewer asks, what about the relationship between Charles, uh, Harry, and William after the funeral? And uh, I say let's take it uh, you know, six months after the funeral. Let's try that and see how that works out. So what's the relationship with Charles, Harry, and William six months after the funeral? And we'll be using three different decks with a dyadic cross for each of those three people. Let's see how that works out. Okay, so today it's going to be the viewer question, what happens between Charles, William, and Harry, uh, and I put in there six months after the funeral. So Charles, William, and Harry, six months after. I'm going to do a, a small uh, a dyadic cross on each of the three with three different decks. So Tarot Lux will be, by Cairo Marchetti, will be the uh, deck for Charles. Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black will be for uh, William. And then the Impressionist Tarot uh, by uh, Connor, uh, Corrine Kenner, and with the artwork by Arturo Pica, will be for Harry. So we'll go at it like that, one at a time. I'm going to put these off to the side, and we'll just deal with this uh, Harry, uh, with this uh, Charles question now. Tarot Deluxe, nice deck, comes in a, in a decent box. It's got some good uh, instructions uh, with it, easy to read. Uh, to help you uh, decide if that helps you uh, make some divination with the cards. Um, and then these cards are very nice. They're easy to read. They have a royal bearing, and I thought that would be appropriate for Charles, as he does have that as well. And um, so we'll see Charles, his relationship with William and Harry six months on. So six months from now. So this is May, June, July, August, September, October, November. So let's say November. Uh, Charles' um, relationship with William and Harry uh, by November. How is that going to work out? So we're going to scoop these up and hopefully not make too much of a mess. And we'll start to do a, just a dyadic cross for Charles. Uh, we'll, I'm going to try to leave all three of these crosses on the table um, after I... Uh, make the um, divinations. So we'll see how all of this works out. This is an experiment and um, you know we'll just have to go in with our best intentions. You know um, I don't think um, this is going to be the only issue I think that we're going to have here is room on the table for all of these cards. But let's try to work it out. So the first Oh, look at that. Doesn't want to doesn't want to cooperate. Charles, why don't you want to cooperate, buddy? So Charles, 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 what is going on for you in six months time by November? What is going on for you with your relationship with your two sons by November 2021? Charles, your relationship with your sons by November of 2021. And let's try to just, you know, Erase from our minds all of the, um, if you're listening to all the psychics and all of the news media that all has its own particular spin, you know, let's just try to calm all that in our mind. Let's try to put our own, our own judgments aside and just look at what the cards say. Let's see if that makes any sense. So clear your mind, maybe ask for a little guidance and, uh, and help me uh, with this uh, Charles uh, in six months. So, I'm going to take all six cards right now for this uh, Charles reading. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five. And this one I'm going to put over here, six. Okay, so this is for Charles. I'm going to go ahead and take these cards and put them out of the frame. And we're just going to work with these cards. Let's try to do them into three sets, Charles, William, and Harry. Let's see how all that works out. So the signifier card for Charles in this reading then is going to be the page of wands. So in six months, we're looking at Charles in six months. And so he's a bit diminished. He comes to us as a page in the royal court 
with some uh, with some plans, with some ideas, with some action in six months. Kind of um, that's interesting. So coming to uh, the scene with some ideas in six months. That's the signifier for that reading. The challenge to that is the Hierophant. And you know, the Hierophant in this case can be a couple of things. It can be the actual government, um, but it also can be the firm. This royal family um, has its own uh, uh, hierarchical um, system in place uh, aside from the government of the country. So I'm going to leave this loose, but this Hierophant being a challenge to this plan could be either the government or the family. I'm leaning toward, toward the government right now to tell you the truth. So that would be the challenge for Charles uh, with this uh, reading. And then the, um, the basis of this reading for Charles in six months is the five of wands. And the five of wands is, you know, uh, plans kind of clashing, um, actions uh, against each other, uh, not really uh, making an easy path forward. So the five of wands as the basis of this is all the confusion with all the planning and all the actions that are um, so typical of this uh, transition, it seems like uh, we're going through. The uh, recent past for Charles in six months' time will be, ah, the star. So the star, you know, I wonder if this means that the star as Charles as the star of the show in six months' time. Let's leave it at that. Um, I, I also wonder if it could be the star of, of Harry, because those seem to be the two volatile situations right now, Harry and Charles, and William is just writing this out, in my opinion. So the star is the recent past in six months' time for Charles with a plan, uh, having to work with some kind of sort of structure, either the government or the royal family structure, and all um, uh, anchored by indecision. The sky for that reading for Charles in six months' time huh, is the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is, as you see here, having to leave something of real emotional value behind and, and moving on into the future. So that uh, is the in the sky for that reading. And then the likely outcome for Charles in six months oof, is the devil. And, uh, you know, the devil is giving in to your lesser instincts to the 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 lesser uh, of the more noble paths that you might take uh giving in to the pleasures the lust the uh greedy um uh, tendencies uh, that we may have in in so many ways uh so that is the likely outcome for this reading so i'm going to try to scooch all these way over so we can just have as much room as possible as we move on to the next piece of this which will be William remember this is what was crossing uh, Charles in this situation and then this was the likely outcome okay so there we are we'll try to work with that um, we're gonna go now right into um, uh, this will be for William and I'm gonna be using the touchstone tarot by cat black another uh, nice packaging that you feel like you got some value for your money uh, these cards um, also come with a nice instruction booklet, uh, easy to read, to give you some clues as to your divination of the cards. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side. Uh, the cards themselves are really beautiful, and you can see that they're very regal and very royal, and it just seems to me that Charles isn't going to be king for as long as William uh, will be king, uh, just by the virtue of Charles's age. Um, and uh, William's age when he assumes the throne, probably. So let's say if Charles had 20 more years, William is in his 30s, that'd be in his 50s. So, you know, that's what we're looking at, at here. Uh, these cards are really gorgeous, very regal. Uh, the pictures are just can't be beat. I mean, they're actual works of art that have been um, reinterpreted a bit to, um, to make this deck by Cat Black, who's an amazing digital artist. But we want right now to think about William in six months' time. William in six months' time. What is this going to be like for you, William, in six months' time? What's going to be like for you? We see uh, where Charles was, and now let's see what we find out for William in six months' time. So what um, is going to be your relationship with your father and your brother 
in six months time regarding this familial discourse between the three of you. Okay, and again, let's try to put all of our judgments aside and just look at what the cards say and go from there. Okay, I'm going to take uh, six cards out of here. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, and six. We got six cards here for William. Okay, in this reading uh, for the for the, the relationship uh, with him and Charles in six months' time. Okay, so the signifier for this reading then is the four of coins, and the four of coins is is always just try, trying to hold on to your value, and um, so that's what we have here as the signifier for William in six months' time. The challenge to holding on to that value is the Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Cups is kind of referred to as the greedy merchant, uh, merchant a lot of times, and this fellow has uh, all of his uh, emotional, passionate cups, uh, his trophies on display above. He's very proud to show us that he's accumulated these emotional trophies, but that's the challenge to him actually trying to uh, hold on to his value. The base of this reading, then, for William in uh, six months' time is temperance. And, you know, temperance is always trying, just trying to balance the situation out uh, so that you're, it's somewhat fair and even amongst the parties. And with, with William right here in the middle between Charles and, and what will be Harry, this seems like a very appropriate card to have in this place. The recent past in six months' time for William will be the Ten of Coins. And the Ten of Coins is happy family. Uh, and to tell you the truth, so this suggests that for William anyway, in six months' time, he'll be uh, coming off of some happy family uh, situation. So that's encouraging. And let me just try to squeeze all these cards together so we can leave some room for Charles, uh, or Harry rather, when the time comes. Then the um, sky for William is the moon. So that's secrets being revealed. So could there be even more secrets that come out to help uh, clarify everyone's situation in this? <clears throat> and then the final outcome for this is the chariot. And that means things happening at a rapid pace. So in six months' time, things could start to move for William at a more rapid pace. I need to stop right now because I have an email I have to attend to. Okay, and now for the last piece of this, which is going to be the big squeeze to get it on this on this on this surface uh, let's see if I can squeeze everybody over just a little bit more here give that a try okay you guys are gonna have to scooch over just a bit Okay, now for the last piece here, I'm going to put a piece of paper here just so that I can protect those while I look at this. This is Impressionist Tarot. This is a new deck that I have, and uh, the box is great. The guidebook is beautifully done, and, and it's actually, a, a, even this is worth the price of, the, of, the, of admission because it's got some great um, information in here, uh, information about what each uh, card is, where it was taken from, and... Uh, uh, so forth. So that's nice. Then the cards themselves are so cool because they they're they're actual um, paintings by uh, Van Gogh, uh, Degas, Monet, and uh, Manet. And uh, but then uh, they've been added to to help with the interpretation. Like for instance, this I forget the artist for these uh, two pictures, but these is these are two uh, paintings that were brought together. Uh, to uh, depict this scene. So very interesting cards and uh, nice to use and uh, they're certainly going to uh, up my uh, art uh, information repertoire uh, as I study these cards a little bit more. But right now I just want to say for Harry, so for Harry, I will also spread these out once you look at them too. So uh, we'll look at these cards a little bit and you can see uh, what I'm looking at in these. Okay. 
So this helps me also get them kind of mixed up. But I don't want to mix them up too much and cause a problem with the card that I have hidden under this green piece of paper. So let's uh, get these going and see if we can get this going for Harry. So we'll do a little shuffle right here, Harry. Harry, in six months' time, what is your relationship going to be with your brother and with your dad? Uh, Harry, in six months' time, what is your relationship going to be with your brother and then with your dad? Uh, let's do this this way, and we'll take six cards. This will be one. Two, three, four, five, and six. We'll put these cards away and see if we can finish this this um, this puzzle here. So the signifier for Harry in six months' time re regarding the relationship between um, his father and William. So, uh, and then we'll go over the whole thing again. So the signifier card for this is the um, the Ace of Swords. And uh, the Ace of Swords is uh, truth and justice. And uh, this feels to me like in six months time, Harry is gonna feel even stronger in his truth. Uh, the challenge to that, uh, to Harry's truth then, is, um, let's see, five, six, seven, uh, 15, seven, 18. What is this card? What is this card? Is this the moon card? It is. This is the moon card. So this is secrets being revealed. But you know, I it's a brand new deck, so I want to be absolutely sure that I'm thinking of the correct uh, divination for that. So let's look in the book. I don't mind doing that. And for the swords, ah, right there. No, not for the swords. For the... Um, for the card there, the uh, 18. Yep, it's the moon. I was right. <laughs> Good. So the moon. So the challenge to these truths are the secrets being revealed. That's the challenge. And look at the secrets were revealed up here in the sky for William. So the challenge to those truths are the secrets being revealed. Who knows what secrets they might be. But the base of that reading then is the four of what? Ah, the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords in. The Four of Swords is knowing when to take a break, uh, to take a rest, and don't get up too soon uh, um, at your peril. Uh, in the recent past, in six months' time for Harry, for this question, is the Hangman. So there will have been some time for contemplation, maybe that whole six months. Uh, and then in the sky, for this reading, is the Two of Wands. And... Um, the Two of Wands is planning, small plans, getting something going into the future. And then the likely outcome for that is the Ten of Swords, which is really um, um, stopped in your tracks. I mean, the Ten of Swords is a hard stop. So just to go over the whole thing for, for Charles, he came in as a Page of Wands, challenged by rules, <clears throat> uh, underpinned by all the um, mishmash of planning that was going on. Uh, just prior to that, there was some star issue in six months' time uh, that led into this uh, this uh, plan for Charles. And in the sky for him was the Eight of Cups leaving something behind and uh, devilish intentions. Now for William, the signifier in, in his was the Four of Coins, which is holding on to your value. The Nine of Coins was a challenge, which is all your trophies of, of passion and emotion that you've got. The Temperance balancing out everything was the basis of his whole reading. And then the Ten of Coins, which is Happy Family, is what he was coming into from that uh, with uh, secrets being revealed in the sky and things moving on pretty quickly after that. And then for Harry in six months' time, we had a big truth that was challenged by secrets that was uh, underpinned by uh, knowing when, hopefully, knowing when to stop and, and rest and think about those four swords and when you're going to make your next step. He came out of a period of being a hangman, looking at something from another perspective, or maybe stuck in a position of looking at something from another perspective. There was a small planning up in the sky for him, but there was a hard stop for him after this, which meant a new cycle was going to begin. And I'm wondering in six months' time, now I wonder what's going to happen with Elizabeth. But that's uh, my take on this for those three. 
So I don't know. I came out of this with, I think, a little bit more questions than I went into with in six months' time. Uh, we had uh, Charles um, really with some devilish uh, outcome um, uh, after, after uh, all of that that he went through. Then we had um, William. Uh, at his outcome was things moving on pretty quickly at that point. And then for Harry's outcome in the end, it was the Ten of Swords, which is just a dead stop and, you know, the end of a cycle and the beginning of something else right around the corner. So it makes me wonder what's going to be happening with uh, Queen Elizabeth in six months' time. I guess it'll be another read. But until then, I'm still Mark, and you're still the folks watching me, and I'm still going somewhere tomorrow. So why don't we just all do all of that together? Uh, come see me tomorrow, and we'll take another uh, trip on the tarot train. And uh, But ciao for now.